A 30-second commercial that aired during the Super Bowl highlighted another fight that's brewing in the legislature. It's about high standards and continued accountability of Tennessee's educators and students. News Channel 5's Andrea Klein-Thomas tells us why a new organization says it's money well spent. Andrea. Oh, Vicki, the organization is called Tennesseans for Student Success. The commercial only aired in the Nashville and Knoxville markets, and it's already working. Our children are Tennessee's future and their education is our responsibility. This Super Bowl commercial features everyday moms, including Erica Miller. I don't think that we knew how important at the time standing up for these standards was, and to see the ad in the Super Bowl says a lot about what a big issue this will become. Some politicians want to drag us back to the days of lower standards, less accountability, and fewer choices for parents. The commercial promotes Tennesseans for student success. The newly formed organization stresses the importance of keeping high standards, high expectations, holding districts accountable while providing parents with choices. The controversial topic of Common Core is never mentioned. That ad um, was not aired just to influence the public, it was also to influence the debate. That is to get legislators, to get journalists, to get other activists to n take notice as well. High standards are an idea more Tennesseans can support. A mother's concern over the education of her children is relatable, and the ad is working. Hundreds more people have logged onto the organization's website to sign up and find out more. More people hear about us, more people take notice, more people get engaged in the conversation uh, about education in the state. A 30-second spot with over half a million homes glued to their TVs for this message. This issue can impact your child so much, and so I, I really just think it's so important that every parent comes to understand the impact that these standards will have on their child's education. Now, get this, the average cost of a 30-second ad during the Super Bowl in the Nashville market alone was $50,000. That's about 35 times what the same ad would cost on a normal Sunday night. It was paid for by the Tennesseans for Student Success and the Tennessee Association Business Foundation. Now, that foundation is part of the State Chamber of Commerce that has gone on record to support Common Core.